Hello everybody, this is Joe from GeoVision. This video is a brief overview of the new Edge Recording Manager 2.0 software. This video will demonstrate the Windows version of the Edge Recording Manager software. There is a Mac version available as well. Edge Recording Manager is a free program that allows users to view up to 32 channels of live video and 32 channels of playback video. There is a paid version of the software called Edge Recording Manager Pro that allows users to view up to 64 channels of live video and 64 channels of playback video. When looking at the Edge Recording Manager 2.0 software, the user interface has now been redesigned to look and function like the GeoVision VMS software where the cameras are recorded. So when looking at the live view, users can expand the layout section in the top left and this gives them the ability to create custom layouts for the cameras to display in. To create a layout, you can simply click on the plus sign and hit add new layout. You will first give your layout a name and you can select one of the predefined options that are shown here, or you can hit customize. And when you do this, a window comes up where you can drag and click to merge cells. This gives you the ability to customize your view. If you have uh, critical cameras that you want to display larger than others, you can really customize how those cameras will be displayed. Once you're done with your layout, hit OK. And you now have the ability to bring in cameras for viewing. To do this, you will simply click on the host list and you will see all of your hosts listed out here on the left. If you click the plus sign next to the host, you'll have your camera list there. You can either drag the camera list into the first position and it will automatically populate your cameras. Or you can also click the plus sign next to the camera list and you will have a list of all your cameras that you can just drag in and drop to where you want them to display. The layout feature allows users to be able to create multiple layouts and group the cameras based on certain areas in their facility or if they have multiple locations, it's a convenient way to be able to call up video from those various locations. Now, in a layout, you are able to actually bring in multiple locations. So if you have another host and you would like to bring in a camera to display from that host, just simply click on the host on the list and drag it in to display it. If you'd like to full screen a camera, you just simply double click on the camera. It will bring that camera up full screen and full resolution. And then if you would like to be able to zoom in, you can just take the scroll wheel on your mouse, start scrolling up, and you can click the green box in the bottom right hand corner to drag and look around at your scene. Scroll back down on the scroll wheel and it will zoom out and you can double click to go back into your full screen. A new feature of the Edge Recording Manager 2.0 software is fisheye camera de-warping on its own channel. To do this, what you can do is locate your fisheye camera on your host list. Right here, we have the FER 5700 listed out. And if you notice, there is a plus sign just to the left of that. If you click on it, you will expose the de-warped fisheye option. You can simply drag and drop the first option into its own channel like you see displayed right here. Now, you can full screen the fisheye view and be able to zoom in on this and click the drag and look around if you would like. Or you have the ability to do your de-warped mode as a full screen. And when you're in quad view, each one of these different quadrants can be panned, tilted, and zoomed and placed in a certain direction. Simply double click and you'll go back to your matrix view. If you would like to review playback footage, you can click on the playback tab in the top left hand corner. And when you're in playback footage and you expand the layout section, it will automatically import all of the layouts that you created in the live view. So it functions just the same as it does when you're in live view. The same features apply. You can double click on a camera to full screen, scroll up to be able to zoom in and look around at your scene, and then scroll back out double click and you're in your full matrix. At the bottom of the screen, there is a 24 hour timeline. The tick marks on the timeline indicate when motion occurred for those cameras. And if you'll notice that there are two bars on the timeline, 
The top bar indicates the camera that you have clicked on. The bottom bar is saying that one or more cameras in the layout has received motion. And as you click on a different camera, you will see that top timeline change to indicate the motion events for that particular camera. If you'd like to scroll in and focus on a certain hour of time, you can place your mouse, your cursor in between the say 13 and 1400 hour, for example, start scrolling up and it will take you down into the minute view for that hour. You can simply click on a certain part of the uh, timeline and any cameras that received motion at that time would sync up and you can click the play button to be able to play all of those cameras back. If you'd like to save video, there's a couple ways that you can do that. You can put your cursor on the beginning of the event on the timeline, right click, hold, and drag. And if you'll notice, you'll see a blue bar that comes up. Once you release, you'll have a menu. You can hit save as AVI. This option gives you the ability to export the video as a standard codec that allows you to play it on a Windows media player. To set this, when this window comes up, you will want to hit the setting button in the bottom left. And then on the codec section down at the bottom, you will want to select WMV9. This allows video to be transferred to another user and it can be played back on any machine that has a Windows media player. If you'd like to choose where the video is saved to, here at the top, you can click select location or set location. And you have the ability to navigate within Windows and place that file where you would like it. You can also name your clip and hit save, close this window, and then you just simply hit start right here, and then it will start backing up that footage for you. Option two for saving video is you go through the same process of right clicking and dragging on the timeline. When you release, you will want to hit the backup option. What this will do for you is save it in the GeoVision codec, but you do have the ability to save a copy of GeoVision software, so you can play it back and have full controls over the video. When the window comes up, you can simply select which camera or cameras you want to have backed up. You can edit your date and time range if you would like. And you can also choose if you want to back up video plus audio events, video only, or audio only. Hit OK. You can choose to back up using a hard disk or navigating and saving to say your desktop or a thumb drive. To select the location, you click the box here, and then you would find where you would want to place that file. Hit OK. And then just make sure the include player option is checked, and that will include a copy of the GeoVision software so you can play it back on any PC and have full control. This has been an overview of the new GeoVision Edge Recording Manager 2.0 software. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.